Hey guys, what's up? My name is Zach and I'm the West Virginia DIY guy. Today I'm going to be working on the outside of the house. What I need to do is replace this piece of corner molding that I clipped with my uh, snow plow last winter. Tore off this edge, not paying any attention, and now I need to replace this. As you know, this molding is put on before any of the siding, and I'm not going to remove all the siding on the house to just replace this corner. So I've come up with a way to replace this without needing to remove siding. The added complication is that when this corner was put on the house, the, the normal size corners that you would buy at the store, I guess, were three and a quarter inches wide. Now, the only corners I can find at the store are three inch and four inch. So I went with the three inch, and I'm going to be doing some trimming and some cutting on here to, to accommodate this three inch piece. Follow along and I'll show you how I do it. The first step will be removing the screw so I can get the gutter out of the way, and then I'll get to work. With the gutter bracket removed, I'm ready to go ahead and mark my lines. What I've done is I've created this jig. With this jig, it's three inches just like my molding. What I need to do is I need to put this on the corner of the molding, and then I'll put my pencil on the side and make a line all the way down the molding. I'll show you. By using this jig to mark my lines on both sides, I now know where my three inch mark is. What I do to this doesn't matter. I can cut this all up, it doesn't matter at all. All I'm doing is cutting through here to show my line where I'll actually be cutting what will then become a J channel on the back. So I'll cut this off and I'll show you what I mean. Here I've got my new piece of corner molding and my old piece. So the new piece shows where it attaches to the house normally. I'm not going to be attaching it to the house. I'm going to be cutting this off right in this channel right here. So what I'm going to create here is a loop that's going to be like a J that needs to attach onto something. So this over here needs to be a J to, to accept it. Knowing that I have now three inch molding instead of the three and a quarter, I'm taking a quarter inch off of this piece and that will leave me with a three inch hook to loop my new piece onto. So now that I've cut this front off, it doesn't matter. This line is only here so that I know where I need to trace to get my three inch mark on the back piece. So now I'm going to cut off this U shape. Okay, now I've cut off this U piece here. You can see that it just makes a U shape there. And now what I have is a J hook coming from where it's attached to the outside of the house, looping around, and now I've got a J hook. That is what I will attach my new piece of molding to. So I just need to remove the other side and we'll be set to go. Okay, now I've got all of the corner molding removed all the way to the top. And what I'll do now is keep the old piece that I just took off at the top and I'll mark my new piece uh, to get the angle and everything that I need at the top from that. I cut off the piece that I would need to make my markings for the top and I measured from the bottom. I know that this part of the molding needs to be nine feet from the bottom. So I'm going to set it on top here, cut it nine feet. Now that I know where my molding needs to be, I'll go ahead and trace it with my pencil. Now I'm going to take this box cutter and I'm going to trace the line. And keep in mind that you don't have to cut all the way through in one try. You can make several passes and that'll make it a lot easier to cut through. Now that I've cut all the way through, I'll just take my blade, insert it right here at the base of this U channel here, and I'll trace it all the way down the piece.
Now that I've got all the pieces cut, I think it's easier to understand what's going on now. I created a J hook right here, and I created a J hook right here. Now all I'll be doing is attaching those J hooks together, and they'll lock into place. That will hold the new piece of molding exactly where I need it. You can see the two J hooks are overlapping there. Make sure you can see it here. I'm using the siding removal tool to push against the old piece of molding. And by pushing it back, it pops into the new molding, locking it in place. As you do that, you just work your way down one side, then you work your way down the other side, and it's fully attached. Alright guys, the molding went back on there without any issues, so now I'm ready to reattach my gutter bracket. Let me throw this out there though. If you don't have a gutter bracket here, and you put your piece of molding on and it slides, this one, if I put some real pressure on it, I can get it to slide up and down about an inch. I'm not concerned about that happening without force being exerted on it, so I wouldn't put a pop rivet in, but if you're concerned about your sliding, feel free to put a pop rivet in. You can put it in the top or in the back side where it wouldn't really, you wouldn't really notice it, and that would save you from having any issues with, uh, with this molding sliding on you. In my case, I've got to put this gutter bracket back on there. And when I do that, I'm going to be putting a screw through this into the side of the house. So it can't slide anywhere, even if it wants to. So, in my situation, I have nothing to worry about. Your situation may be different, you may need a pop rivet. Alright guys, got my gutter bracket back on, molding's in place, not going anywhere, and this project is done. I'm going to clean up, get inside, and cool down a little bit. So I hope this video was clear enough that you're able to follow along, and if you need to do this, you're able to follow those steps and complete this same project yourself. I was really concerned when I found out that my corner molding was three and a quarter inches and all I could find was three and four inch. So if you were in the same boat, I'm sure you're a little scared yourself and I hope that this video helps you. I couldn't find anything online that showed me how to do it, so I created this video so that you could see how I figured out to do it. I actually needed to do this to three different places around the house. Uh, the other two had been beat up by the weed whacker. So uh, I did the other two first to learn and perfect this sort of uh, trick, I guess you could call it. And now that I've got it down, I wanted to share it with you guys so that you knew what to do. So I did this third one on video, and I hope that it was easy to understand. I will say the first one took me about 30 or 40 minutes to figure out, but this one took me about 10 minutes total. So hopefully you'll be able to follow along, follow those same steps, and do it yourself if you need to. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And until next time, take care and God bless.